Please stand. Good morning. <laughs> this morning's Mass will be offered for Albert Roma, and today we will have a vote of Mass for the sick. And so let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you come to bring us a pardon for our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come to bring healing to the sick and the suffering. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You, come, you give us hope for better days to come. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that our infirmities be borne by your only begotten Son to show the value of human suffering, listen in kindness to our prayers for our brothers and sisters who are sick. Grant that all who are oppressed by pain, distress, or mm -hmm. other afflictions may know that they are chosen among those proclaimed blessed and are united to Christ in his suffering for the salvation of the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In the days past when Saul was our king, it was you who led the children of Israel out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord. They were anointed him, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned 40 years, 7 years, and 6 months in Hebron over Judah, and 33 years in Jerusalem over all Israel and Judah. When the king and his men set out for Jerusalem against the Jebusites, who inhabited the region, David was told, You cannot enter here. The blind and the lame will drive you away, which was their way of saying, David cannot enter here. But David did take the stronghold of Zion, which is the city of David. David grew steadily more powerful, for the Lord of hosts was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion I have placed a crown, or the people I have set a youth. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. I have found David my servant, with my, uh, with my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may always be with him, and that my arm may make him strong. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand upon the sea, his right hand upon the rivers. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. <clears throat> Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the Holy Gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. The scribes who would come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebub, the devil. And by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. But that man is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be wonderful if everyone took to heart the words of this Holy Gospel? But we look at our world situation, and so many countries are divided down the middle. They hate each other, they're killing each other. It's a question of greed question of power, and everyone wants to be on top and be in charge while the, everyone else suffers horribly. And we wonder when atrocities like, for example, the Holocaust, who could ever imagine that eight million people could be murdered and nobody is concerned? Oh, people lived in fear, of course. But they were afraid to speak out because they were afraid that they too would be the victim of hatred. And so here we have Jesus being called the son of Satan, an evil man. The gospel ends in that he has an unclean spirit. God forbid, but there are people out there who always will be against us, even on TV which sometimes is a great diversion, and other times can be a source of depression. And we hear young people saying horrible things. For example, the other day a young woman was being a witness in a court scene, and she was asked to swear the truth and nothing but the truth, so help her God. And she immediately said, I can't. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. So they asked her to repeat the oath, omitting God. And so many times we're, we cringe with fear to think that people are taking God out of everything. Religion is something that should be forbidden rather than having people filled with the love of, of God and, and the Holy Spirit. And so we put our trust in the Lord and pray that division will be healed, people will become one, people will love each other as they should, and one day the Lord will certainly show himself as being the source of all love for all of us, and we will thank him for his presence. And now for the whole, the General intercessions. <clears throat> As we strive for holiness, 
by following God's commandments, we turn to Him with our prayers. For the Church, may she grow in holiness and charity through the gracious mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all people of the world, may they respect the inherent dignity of every human person, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the marginalized, the vulnerable, and for those who have no voice, may the Lord grant them a stronghold of faith and people to be their advocates. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here and for those whom we love, may the Holy Spirit open their hearts to the goodness of God's ways and His mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Albert Roma, for whom this Mass is offered, and our own deceased loved ones and parishioners, may all rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own personal and special intentions, which we mention in the silence of our hearts. God of all power and mercy, listen and answer to the prayers of your people, which we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for all of His church. Since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill, that having been anxious for them in their time of danger, we may rejoice at the recovery of good health through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, <coughs> Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming and glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise You, as without end we acclaim You. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Albert Rama, for whom this Mass is offered. Remember all of our deceased loved ones and parishioners, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Lord, 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 hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to be the Lamb of God.
Let us pray. O oh God, only supported by human weakness, show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick. That sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Say, Michael, we are the angel. Be our protection against the wickedness and spirit of the devil. May God rebuke you in the only right way. And to the devil, bring us to the heavenly host. By the power of God, cast into the devil's Satan, and all evil spirits, who harm the body of the world with Satan and the ruin of souls. Amen. Let's pray. 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 Let's p